Hello, everybody. Uh, sorry about that little audio there. But, um, hello and welcome back. So, here's me, Emac. Um, and yes, this is the original Emacs hardware. It is the same 6,4 1 gigahertz educational model. You know, everything about it. So, let's log in and show you. So, this is running a slightly, I believe, outdated version of Ubuntu. Pardon the refresh rate too. Woo, 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 woo. But I can't really fix that. But I just thought I'd show you guys. So, also, pardon the little color on the outside here. You can see that it's quite orangish. And I really can't fix that without distorting the image too much. So, Update Manager really likes to get on my nerves. And I can only update so much at a time. So I have to like go through here and you know what? Let's just do this. Dis disable distribution. See, this is what my issue is. Is even with the abysmal amount of RAM in here, which is which I've already upgraded multiple times. Come on. Here we go. It still takes forever to um do certain things now I should go through these and uncheck them oh really there you go so close now the nice thing about this is it actually runs an up-to-date Firefox give or take so oh my goodness so I can actually do most things YouTube is actually still absolutely horrendous, but it's actually the Emacs fault, not the OS on like 10.5. The Emacs just cannot handle video. <laughs> I'll show you what I mean. Am I logged into myself? No, I'm not. Darn it. Come in, come in, come in. I know I've logged into myself before. Come on. Also, it's quite slow. So let's me let's add my actual YouTube account. Oh, whoopsie. That should do it. Go on. My channel. I need one of those. See, I just locked up. Come on. There you go. Creator Studio. This is what I'm talking about, guys. By the way, thank you guys for getting me to 49 subscribers. Let's set a goal that this video can push us over the 50 subscriber mark. Or well, I'll get over there before the next week, which is when the next video goes up. Hey, Half-Life 3 got Half-Life 3. I wish. Half-Life 2 installing on as a uh, not SSD discs actually got three views nothing compared to this but let's watch this then and what do we get we're connecting I'll be right back guys Whoosh. See what I mean, guys? Guardian. Skipping is pretty bad. 
So we're going to go to our settings and actually change our settings a little bit to allow us to go down to 144p and hopefully work. See, see, look at my face. Look at my face. This is a 60 FPS video. 30 below 10. Oh my goodness. See, I'm missing options. If I hit the missing options button, what do I get? YouTube missing quality options. Okay, Safari a 10.10 or newer. Yeah. Yeah, see, so I only have options for 360p, and this is what I get. Yeah, this is this is what I'm talking about. Yeah. It's pretty, pretty horrendous. It's horrendous. Okay, shut up, Ethan. You don't know what you're talking about. You actually did a pretty good job on that video, but anyway. But if you want to go to something like, oh, um. What's it? What was that main guy's name? Um, John Glenn. Anybody know who John Glenn is before it loads? John Glenn. John something something Glenn was a United States Marine Corps aviator, engineer, astronaut, and the United States Senator of Ohio. In 1962, he was the first American to orbit Earth, circling it only three times. So, and he just very recently died. Desi died December 8th. So, how about Neil Armstrong? Ar Armstrong. So, Neil Armstrong. Neil Armstrong was an American astronaut and the first person to walk on the moon. He was also an aerospace engineer, naval aviator, test pilot, and university professor. He died in t uh, on August 25th, 2012. He had only two space missions apparently, which was Gemini 8 and Apollo 11. How about Buzz Aldrin? I think he's still alive. Yeah, Buzz Aldrin, I think, is still alive. Now watch, it's going to prove me wrong. No, Buzz is still alive. I think Buzz is, like, one of the only guys still alive. Buzz Aldrin is an American engineer and former astronaut as a lunar module pilot on Apollo 11. He was one of the first two humans to land on the moon and second person to walk on it. Born in January... 20th 1930 and hasn't died he was on Gemini 12 and Apollo 11 so anyway I think that really does it um <laughs> how about I don't know who else is important to space I don't know but here let me show you how I got Ubuntu on Ubuntu so so if you want to Ubuntu, you cannot get it for PowerPC. What you need to do is Ubuntu PowerPC. Now, if you just do PPC, it should know what you're talking about and give you this option. Well, not here. I think I'm using this. So it will give you this little website, Torino. So it'll say, okay, dokie, you want to install it on a live DVD? Download it for Intel right here. Download it for AMD right here. Own it for a Macintosh or IBM PowerPC. Right here. So, Apple. So, there you go, guys. A G4, G5, or G3 processor. And also the 700 series. How about if you want it for a. on a. Alternate install CD right here. All these options are available to you for the low, low cost of free. And say you wanted to do, for some reason, a different alternative download, you have all these to choose from. Just pick one. 
but it's just you do the ones that it wants. And I think precise pangillion, whatever, pang, pang, pangolin, pangolin, penguin, precise penguin. <laughs> it is precise penguin. I know it's precise penguin because I am a penguin. Don't question it. But let's say, okay, so, so far it works out really well. Let's see. But beyond, uh, so if you don't use Google search a lot, you can also eBay crap. So let's do Mac Pro 26. But what I should do is just Mac Pro and see what I get. Oh, I didn't have NumLog on. So you can get all these options. Wicked fast. Uh huh. I guarantee it. Um. Yeah, all these Mac Pros are so expensive. I don't have that money. It's a 2010. Ooh. It's not a bad price for one of those with. A one gigabyte slash seven terabyte hard drive. Ooh, that's not bad. Could build a pretty decent competition PC for much less though. But I just like the design of the Mac Pro. Anyway, so eBay works just dandily. I mean, it's slow, but what do you expect? Um, Amazon. Now, if you search Mac Pro on Amazon, you're gonna get like seven thousand dollars. $30,000 machines, right? No, you're just gonna get the ECC memory because you can't buy it. And you can't buy what's it called with uh, the Mac Pro any place besides Apple. Fun fact oh, oh, you can. You can. That is. That is a lot of money, guys. $2,000. Thousand eight hundred. That's like, oh. Anyway, I digress. It's not bad. It's actually by Apple. Is it ship free with Prime? <laughs> Because I think this would be a great deal. Buy used for $180. With, that's a really good deal. Oh my goodness. But no, it does a pretty good job. For general tasks. But it's actually, I would say, 50 to 2,000 times better than 10.5. Where, 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 where. So... Would I recommend if you wanted a new computer to go out and buy a, what is it now, 10 year old, 11 year old system like this just to update it to Ubuntu and try it? Well, if you already have one, that's a different story than if you're going to go out and buy one. If you're going to go and buy an older computer, go spend your money. On something Intel based like a MacBook a MacBook or a MacBook Pro or a MacBook Air do not spend your money on a power PC but if you have an eMac that you really don't care about your 10.5 install or you have an old iBook that you just want to do an experiment with it's most likely worth it unless you really like 10.5 or 10.4 and with that guys I'm gonna leave you off there See you guys next week, and thank you all for watching. I know this video comes a little bit later in the week than my last, maybe my last one came up. I know my last video wasn't really all that good, but I was really pressed for time to get that video up. I had a, my grandpa was moving in to my house, and I had to go. So, anyway guys, thank you for watching, and if you liked this video, you guys know what to do. Hit the like button, subscribe, and just have a great day. Please help me with an outro. I have no idea what to do. See you later.